Good afternoon. I'm Yehuda, grandson of Israeli egg farmers. I'm here to show you magic, and by the way, share with you a $300 billion opportunity. An egg. Can you tell what's inside? Is it a male, perhaps a female? Unfortunately, naturally, they are not laid like this. And hatcheries don't know what's inside. And that's why every year we kill 8 billion male chicks. Why does this happen? There are two kinds of chickens in the world. The broilers are raised for meat, and the layers are raised for laying table eggs. The female layers are those who are responsible for laying the 1.2 trillion table eggs we eat every year. Male layers have no meat and no egg. So like us, homo sapiens, they are useless. <laughs> Every year, the industry sends 16 billion fertile eggs of layers to hatcheries, incubates them for three weeks till they're hatched. Only then those chicks meet human chicken sexers. There is such a profession who will figure out who is male, who is female, and send 50%, 8 billion male chicks, to their immediate death as they are hatched. This is a massive ethical and financial challenge, but it is about to change because exit makes it possible to count your chickens before they hatch. Let me show you the magic. This is my co-founder, Professor Danny Offen, demonstrating the use of Sexit our device capable of detecting the sex of the eggs pre-incubation at the speed of light. You've seen the first egg was a male, the second was shining because it's a female. How do we do this? We're using CRISPR, a gene editing tool, a very precise one, to edit chickens and make them sex detectable. So they then lay sex detectable eggs. These eggs then meet Sexit, our scanning device, which meets the eggs pre-incubation and figures out their sex in a non-invasive way and at the speed of light, allowing only female eggs inside the hatcheries and blocking, preventing the entrance of the male eggs inside the incubator, creating a female-only hatching environment. The egg males, or the fertile eggs containing eggs, containing males, can then be sold to industries that can use these eggs as eggs. It's a game changer, and it's completely going to change the way and the economics of this industry. Let me show you a bit how. For the egg world, we're doubling the hatchery capacity. We are reducing labor. We are enabling a new product, which is those male eggs. In the poultry world, a way to separate between male and female creates an elegant way to raise them separately and increase the food conversion rate. And maybe most important, our ethical eggs can then reach supermarkets. It may look like this. So Exit's mission is to enable a sustainable future for the chicken livestock industry. It's a new trend now that consumers care what happened between farm and fork. CRISPR and gene editing have the power to eliminate the most pressing issues that humanity and the planet are dealing with, using Bill Gates' words, starvation and disease. 
Regulators across the world are now looking into these issues and first our plans, people are working on human applications and we believe animals will be next. We have a great team, Professor Ofen of Tel Aviv University co-founded the company together with me. He is a co-founder of a Nasdaq traded company. Gal, our business developer, and myself met when we both studied at Harvard. I am a co-owner of an international food chain, and we have a great team of scientists working on the product development and a whole team of advisors supporting what we are doing. Exit is an impact startup. We're saving the lives of 8 billion chicks, creating a $300 billion opportunity, and turning waste into a product. During the past few minutes, around 70,000 male chicks were killed, wasting tens of thousands of dollars. Exit is here to change that. We welcome you to join us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, you've clearly identified um, a pressing pain point uh, in the poultry industry. But um, how have you found uh, your regulatory pathway? Um, and what progress have you made? Can you update us on that? Yeah. So the real beauty of what we're doing is that we're creating a binary situation, which, first of all, is what you need. You need a very clear differentiation between male and female. The way we have created this technology is that only the females, only the males are edited and they carry that biomarker, which you've seen, but the females are untouched. So from the regulatory perspective, what reaches market, the female, is 100% identical to the female area that reaches market today. If you would blindly give a scientist now these two chickens, the exit chicken and the regular commercial chicken available now, and tell, ask them to tell you who is who, they would not know. And not because we have hidden it, it, nothing's there. Only the males are edited, so that's the real beauty. And that's why with our conversations with FDA and other regulators, they see the relatively quick ability to bring this to market, of course, proven being safe and no off-target effects, etc. cetera. Uh, well, CRISPR technology is, is fairly new, but um, how come this, there haven't been other attempts to do this before? I know that there are other means of uh, testing eggs, the sex of eggs. Why didn't you go down that pathway? Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's a great question, but I think it's a very general question which you can ask about any innovation. Someone was always the first to think about it. The story of, of this innovation, Danny here from Tel Aviv University is a neuroscientist. He works on, on uh, diseases that have to do with the brain and heard randomly about the problem and then implying ways of thinking and things he does in his neuroscientific lab, he actually transferred uh, this way of thinking into this problem and that's how this was created. And how soon can we see uh, market adoption? So it depends on mainly on regulation. We're working full throttles on bringing this to market from our end of technology and commercialization. So how, how quickly can per egg um, can you identify? The, the, it's at the speed of light. It's not just a, a play of words. It, we beam a, a, a light on the egg and there's a reflection immediately. So there's no, there's no bottleneck in the way the industry actually has these eggs run into the hatchery. Thank you very much. You're welcome.